What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. My name is Zach Curtis. Out here about to hit a uh, 15 mile run. So actually I've already ran for the day. Um, it was scheduled to be a 20 mile run, but I just, I wasn't feeling the 20 and I didn't want to push it. Um, so far, you know, my prep has always been Ironman and the training for that is 13.1. So 15 is you know one of the longest runs that I've done so I wanted to stop there get a little bit more training throughout the weekend before I progress farther into the 20 30 mile range so the uh, peak run for the training is 32 miles and it's supposed to be on the trails so speaking of trails I wanted to show you guys my new Brooks running trail shoes so these are the uh, catamount brooks running shoes with it has a ballistic rock shield bottom which is interesting uh, i was reading the reviews on them they seem like they were a very light shoe they seem like um the toe box was wide because i do have a little bit wider of a foot um and then my road shoes are the brooks ghost they're a little banged up because i did run earlier um, I even put the blood, sweat, and tears into training, literally. Uh, my sock fell down and it ran my the back of my heel raw, so not ideal. But yeah, I'm excited to try these out. Um, it's been raining pretty heavily where I live at, so I didn't want to step on the trails and get them... Um, you know one dirty because i did buy a white shoe which kind of dumb when i'm be running trails but i like the way that the white and the blue look uh but i also didn't want to risk any injury running on the trails with it being sloppy muddy so yeah i'll let you guys know how they go once i uh run in them but they were they ran me about 160 dollars on the brooks website and i don't know i just like the color of them they had decent reviews. It was like 4.7 out of 5. So, yeah, once I run in them, I'll let you guys know. They're super light, which I like, uh, and especially with uh, the, the rock shield and the sole of the shoe type thing. Uh, I was expecting them to be a little heavier, but honestly, I feel like my road shoe might be a little bit more heavier. So, once I get to run in the trail shoe, I'll definitely let you guys know. But let's go hit this run and hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, we're about five miles in. About five miles into the run. Uh, I'm stopping here at the car because my shirt is drenched. It is pouring down rain. It's uh it's lighting up a little bit, but my shirt's rubbing me raw. So we're about uh let's see here. We're about an hour and one minute into the run. About five miles. Um uh, I'm going very slow for just the reason of I feel like I'm getting burnt out on my long runs and I just wanted to go slow start it off slowly work my way into a faster pace so we're at the car right now making a quick pit stop at five miles gonna keep running but I gotta ditch the shirt because it's rubbing me raw and I don't have 15 more miles to get runners nipple so we'll catch you guys at the next five mile mark all right it is pouring down rain out here but doesn't matter no excuses gotta get after it we are hitting a little bit faster miles i think with the uh rain coming down and it feeling a lot cooler i can control the heart rate a little better so when i first started the run i could not control it at all i was hitting like 165 but or uh 165 beats per minute so i think it's because i was a little nervous 
about the 20 mile run ahead of me but i think i've hit my groove so we're about seven and a half miles in right now and we just got hit hard with some rain but i love it catch you guys at 10 miles all right just hit 10 miles at an hour and three minutes overall feeling really good that heavy rain came down about seven seven and a half miles and it came down hard for about five minutes five-ish minutes and then uh now clouds are clearing looks like blue skies ahead see the sun so it was hard getting up this morning not gonna lie got out of bed at 4 15 make the drive down here to this trail and started running i don't know i forget what my watch said 5 20 ish in the morning so after eating a little bit so before my run i had two rice cakes with peanut butter and honey and then a handful of gummy bears uh, i really like the gummy bears one i have a sweet tooth and it's hard to resist and also it gives me a little bit of sugar and carbs to f fuel me for these long runs so in the bottle here my runner bottle i got i think it's rule one like pre amino acids or something like that has some uh some uh what is it called electrolytes caffeine a little bit of caffeine like 100 milligrams i got two goo goos in my pocket so i got a trash can coming up i'm about to hit that at about 12 miles and uh go back to the car so got about 10 miles left i'll catch you guys about mile 15. All right guys, 15 miles done. I think I'm gonna call it. I'm getting pretty out of shape, or not out of shape. I'm just getting worn out. The last like two miles really got to me. And I'm right here at my car. I don't wanna get too far away and blow up. So, I don't know, five miles short of my run, my long run. It's kind of frustrating. I feel like the harder that I'm training the more I digress in my training so I don't know we're gonna figure it out I mean got to keep going so 15 miles 12 21 pace three hours five minutes it wouldn't be bad if I was running on the trail but as you can tell, with the rain that came down earlier, we're supposed to get more rain later. It rained like that the day before. So I just didn't want to risk injury and running on a wet trail, but. All right, well, I'm gonna walk back to the car. I'm almost there and uh, give you guys a little update as to where I'm at with everything. So thanks for watching so far. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. Uh, just got back to the car, drank a little bit of water, uh, took the shoes and socks off. My heel actually was bleeding uh, through my sock onto the heel of my shoe, which uh, I need to buy some new socks for running long distance, especially trails, because I don't want to chafe and whatnot on the course. So um, thanks guys for watching. Gonna go home, eat some food weigh in last time i weighed myself i was at uh 172.1 which was a new low weigh in so hopefully uh you know go eat some food enjoy the long weekend and relax after this run and uh, hit it hard next week so i appreciate you guys watching like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next video